GTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs Yo, what's up, everybody? Mike Red Fox, thanks for coming to hang out tonight, Sunday night live stream. Hope everybody had an awesome New Year's, having a great 2022 so far. Thanks for being here. Let's see who we got here tonight. Smash the like button if you don't mind, too. Helps recommend the channel. Helps the YouTube algorithm do its thing. Travels, travels. What's up, Ocean Blue, Box Fan? Jeff, what's up, man? D Miners, thanks for being here. 56. Thanks for being here. Yeah, man, I'm getting some snow tomorrow. Uh, I didn't even know until uh, a couple hours ago. I wasn't paying attention. Cryptomania, what's up? What's up, Robert? Uh, everybody, sorry if I missed it. Red Llama Crypto, what's up, buddy? Wow, Henway, what's up, my dude? Robert, Steven, hey, everybody. Brian Hollywood, thanks for becoming a member of the channel, man. Appreciate that very, very much. JB, what's up, my dude? Thanks, Happy Dictator, what's up, buddy? Good to see you just switched off ETH for Flux. Good luck, man. We're going to talk about some Flux tonight for sure. I, I think you can't ignore it at this point. 56, thanks for the five bucks for ramen noodles, buddy. Appreciate you. What's up, Mana? What's up? What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, cheers. Got some whiskey tonight, so cheers to anybody that's drinking out there. Um, I'm actually going to do an experiment. It's actually cooled down a little bit. I have a fan going at me, but it's so hot down here, guys. It's unseasonably warm out, so it's so hot in this basement. I don't know if, you could, if that's going to come up, but 87 Fahrenheit right now, standing next to me. So my experiment is I got one of those like sphere ice cubes in here. Let's see how long it takes. See if it makes it the whole stream. I don't think so. I don't think so. But cheers. Let me know what you're drinking. If you're drinking anything on this Sunday evening where I'm at here on the East US uh, or wherever you're from, could be the morning where you're from. And we're going to do questions, just hang out. Literally looking forward to the stream. Feeling good tonight. So tag me anything at Red Fox Crypto and I'll do my best to answer uh, any questions that you have. Happy Dictator drinking an old fashioned. Nice, dude. Muddled or not muddled would be my question. <laughs> Patrick, what's up, buddy? What's up, everybody? Golden Wolf, good to see you, my dude. So, yeah, we'll let a couple more people file in here. And then I got a couple things uh, we can go through that I pulled up, actually prepared for this stream as much as possible. Uh, if not, anything that you guys have in the chat is, is what we'll talk about. 
<laughs> Still hung over from New Year's. Nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, this. So I'll probably do uh, a January update soon. But right now I have the Grow 10 closed. But I have so many more GPUs that just don't fit in there anymore um, out in the basement here. And it's just getting so hot. You can see in front of you, there'll be a video on this build. Give you guys a sneak peek. This video will be uh, coming out this week on this build which is 6,600s in here. So yeah, Monero shirt. I don't hear a lot about Monero these days, but definitely a good, good coin, a CPU mine, in my opinion. Oh, and then if you guys see the poll, it's my first time doing a poll. I think I did it right. For the same price. So somebody asked me this in my Discord and it made me think for a little while. Um, for the same price, would you go RX 6600 XT or RTX 3060, like the LHR ones. Um, and I will go through maybe some math and stuff I pulled up just to see what might be their better buy because they are pretty much around the same price points, more or less, right now. Stingray, what's up, dude? Happy Dictator's going muddled. That's what I would do, man. Got to muddle those old fashions. Nice. Arnaldo, what's up? So many 6600s popping up in stock. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> that's why I built this rig. So this is eight 6600s. And then I have three more. I just, I had a bunch and I sold Hobbyist Miner a few. He was just over yesterday. So I got three more and then I have probably another five coming uh, in January. So what I think I'm going to do is a 12 card rig of them but i just threw me here to get them up and going and just to see what they're all about and put this uh mineshop.eu mine box to work <laughs> so anything you guys got just uh at me in the chat i'm gonna turn this fan off just in case it's messing with anything Question, wondering if it's possible to power GPU risers with both Molex and SATA to achieve the combined power. You know, I've, uh, I got asked this question a lot in the comments section of uh, my power and GPU mining riser safely video. And um, I don't know, I absolutely would not do that, but I couldn't tell you if it would work, if it would pull from both, if it would only pull from one. Uh, so if anybody wants to take one for the team and do it really safe, go ahead. But I am I am not going to test that one out. I'm just going to go straight PCIe. Everything is PCIe. That's what I'm all about, keeping it safe. So if you haven't voted in that poll yet, we'll let it go a little bit longer. TPS Miner, what's up, buddy? Thanks for coming. Appreciate you. All right. I was wondering if we're going to get asked this one. Steven asks, have you looked at Toncoin? I have not. I have not. I see it. The hype train is building. Hype train is building on that. But uh, maybe I'll check it out. At least just at a surface, see if there's anything that I want to dive into further. Um, JB, are you running the H510 on any rigs? I am. I have a video on that. I had to custom, customize a frame for it. And I got five GPUs on it right now. Cool. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Sixty six hundred XT good on other coins. It does, uh, it does pretty good. We're gonna look at it, but it does pretty good on the Prog Pow coins. Um, so you're talking Raven Coin and you're talking Firo. Not as good as a thirty sixty in raw hash rate, but should um, do a little bit less wattage. A little bit less wattage. One sec. So let's see. All right, let's pop over and we'll keep chatting. I'm going to move over to a uh, computer here. We'll take a look at some prices. You guys keep chatting me up. Anything you want to talk about? Let me know in the chat. Just tag me. So uh, Ethereum's coming up a little bit. So that's looking pretty good. Really stoked to see that. 
And what I'm more excited to see, and I'm going to refresh this, is Flux coming back up. What are we at? $2.95, up 23% today. Man, absolutely crushing it. I am so stoked on that. You guys mine in Flux? Let me know in the chat. When did you start mine in Flux? Uh, Flux is near and dear to my heart. So I started mining it before this chart existed. So I'm feeling real good. This is crazy, though. Crazy. It's got so much going for it. Uh, so this is a project I, I do believe in the hype personally, not financial advice, but feel really good about it. Feeling really good about Flux. So, I mean, that difficulty, actually, I have it up here. That difficulty is, uh, so look at the hash rate. So this is the whole story of Flux. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to walk you guys through it. Yo, Sith Hit, what's up, my dude? What's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. Bay Area Miner, what's up, buddy? No, it's uh, in my glass tonight. It's not Fireball. It's uh, it's Woodford Reserve is the scotch or whiskey I'm drinking. So if you guys are... Wow, Henway, do you have a flux node? I do. I do. So if you guys are jumping in right now, we're just talking a little bit of flux. Uh, but feel free to ask anything you'd like in the chat. Um... So this is when the project came out. It's February 2018. And uh, you can see what's happening here. It's just on a different algorithm. Back then, it was an Equihash algorithm. So the hash rates are a little... You don't really compare, but what you can see here is the fork. So uh, Flux forked away all of the um, Equihash... ASICs and all that stuff and change algorithms and then that happened again and then they change algorithms and then this was where like nobody was mining it. It's crazy. Nobody was mining it. So I mined it uh, this whole time on and off on my 1070 TIs uh, and then obviously there's this massive spike with the price and then it's going up and up and up from there. But along this whole time, man, these guys have been they've been putting in the work. Um, one of the things they got coming up is nodes. So I've talked about this before, but Flux runs, you can run nodes on their networks, which is really cool. You can mine, and then once you get a certain amount, you can lock it up. You can run it on, I run it on a virtual private server, VPS. I rent it, it's like $5 a month. And you just lock up your Flux, and you run a, a node on that server, and that node contributes compute power to you know, the Flux decentralized network. Um, but they're going to make some adjustments here so more people can get involved, which is a really great reason to mine Flux, in my opinion. And so you can say, in this case, they've lowered the entry, whereas before, it used to take 10,000 Flux to run a node, and the highest node is 100,000. So you can mine 10,000 Flux, lock it up, and then that would make you more Flux, just like almost just like mining. Now they've they're going to lower that structure and so the entry on the main nodes now is going to be a thousand. They're also going to do starter nodes, which only need five flux. And then they're also going to have staking nodes, which allows you to have 250 and contribute that as a pool uh, together with others. And you're going to get paid in that. So there's just going to be so many ways for people to get involved, to run nodes, to really support what they're trying to do in the long run, which is create uh the decentralized world is what they say so i'm um, really stoked to see that but yeah flux is on a tear absolute tear just absolutely crazy 290 292 man all right let me catch up on what you guys are chatting about and then we'll we'll talk some more some more mining Let's see. That's sip it. Did you ever have whistle pig? It's a scotch or whiskey. I haven't yet, but I know I absolutely know about it. <laughs> uh, K Hosh asks, what do you think will happen to mining after proof of stake? Uh, we're not, dude. 
it's it's going to keep rolling. It might look different, but as long as there's projects to mine, mining will exist. I think uh, time will tell, but it um it'll look different unless some project really just takes over. Oh, by the way, shout out Mrs. Red Fox. You guys see that edition? That was one of my Christmas presents, which is absolutely sick. She had that custom made for me. So, man. Sith Fit, do you ever do mixed rigs? Um, yes, I have. Uh, just do them uh, in HiveOS, and it's it's fine. Windows, I've done it, and HiveOS is just a better experience for mixed rig. And if you guys don't know what mixed rig is, it's NVIDIA and AMD cards on the same rig. But it's totally fine. Just do it in in a Linux system like HiveOS. Good question, dude. Oh, and for mixed rig, you can run just two miners. You can run both TRX for NVIDIA, uh, and then you can run Team Red Miner, for example, for AMD. They'll both just run at the same time. Absolutely no problems. Titan might Nightmare says, so paranoid that LHR cards will be restricted on all coins at a later date. They can't do it, man. Like, even if they release drivers to restrict the cards later, we could always use old drivers. They would have to alter the hardware um, or the BIOS of the cards, and those would just be new ones coming out. But the thing that I've brought up a few times, and I would love to see this unfold, is if, um, if that happened. Say 4,000 series come out. You know they will, because NVIDIA won't stop. 4,000 series come out and say they're LHR on ProgPow, which is Raven and uh, Firo. Those projects are projects in the past who have forked algorithms, and it would be so awesome to watch a coin fork to a different algorithm to get away from LHR. And I think that is very much would be a reality for all these other altcoins. I don't think it was really ever in the cards for Ethereum to do, especially at the place they're at right now go into the merge, turning off proof of work. But I definitely think some of these other grassroots cryptocurrencies that are proof of work, NVIDIA knows that too, because they've forked in the past. Flux has forked in the past. Raven has forked in the past. Firo just forked algorithms. They'll just change it. Like, they don't care. Um, so I think it, it's probably a losing battle doing any LH, LHR stuff once Ethereum does the merge, in my opinion, at least. I would love to see NVIDIA try, though, and it just be a complete waste of effort and all the crypt other cryptocurrencies just fork. Oh, man. All right. Let me catch up more. Sorry. Uh, Happy Dictator, what VPS service are you using uh, for my Flux nodes? I'm using Contabo right now. Mr. Miles, what's up, my dude? Long time no chat, man. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Where do you get your GPUs? I do. I use bots. Sith Fit knows. I just use bots. I have videos on it. I'm not shy about it. I pay for them. Um, and I get GPUs mostly from Amazon right now. A couple from Best Buy, but I've been a little lazy with it. So I just left Amazon on. And I'm looking to get what's up, hobbyist. This look familiar. It's like almost like you were just here. Uh, I'm looking to get three Fox go. What's up, dude? Thanks for coming, man. I'm looking, I, I was thinking like I was sitting down, right? And I was, I opened up my bot, which is just buying 6600s and 6600 XTs. And I was like, what do I want to get right now? Because I have, I have a lot of cards running, um, still have some to get going. And um, I have to run more power from my main panel. So I'm just like, what do I want to do here? What makes sense? And I haven't really sat down and like thought about that in a little while. Um, and so I came up with probably three cards that I would look to get going forward. Um, the first for sure is 3090s. You know, release cards right now because when new cards come out, they may change. Definitely would like to get some more 3090s. You guys know the unicorn for me is the white Strix. Man, I want that car. It's so bad. But 3090s for sure. Not limited. Ton of hash. And, and, you know, density is amazing. They're not as efficient, but would love to get some of those. 
Um, 6600 XTs at the like 550 or less, which I just got one. New Egg just had one in stock. And uh, it was a Sapphire Nitro, which is the top tier Sapphire card. So they just had a 6600 XT in stock. And I was able to get one of those that shipped yesterday. So I'm feeling really good about that card. And then the I guess the other one is very specific, but it's the EVGA 3060 Ti LHRs because they're pretty uh, good price point for LHR cards like EVGA seems to have like the lower MSRP. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think that's what I would be looking to get right now. And so that's what I'm looking for. But I was just thinking about that and figured I'd share. Uh, just any questions you got, throw them in the chat. And then we'll switch back over and go through a few more things uh, that I pulled up. I think would be some stuff to chat about. Titan Nightmare, what's up, dude? <laughs> so fit. Um, can you do a guide on setting up a flux node? Maybe there's, um, there's some really good guides out there. Goose tech does them. If you ever need, uh, me to point in the right direction, I actually just, I watch his to set up my own. So rather than do my own, I probably just recommend you over to watch some of those. I think they're even on the official flux YouTube channel. Now I think is where he posts them. Um, just, uh, join the discord and, and let me know if you need me to steer you that way. Do you get the GPUs for really cheap on Amazon? MSRP price, you know, whatever current MSRP is. Um, sold by, shipped by Amazon. Dude, D miners. Basement was roasted today, 91 degrees. Had to put all fans on. Yeah, man. I almost like I almost had to put the air conditioner on today. It's still 87 down here. Uh, it was like 93 earlier before I closed up the grow tent. And uh all the windows open in the house today, even though it's like it was like 50 something degrees out there. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Is powering a riser with Molex, Molex risky? Probably. Motop got two 3090s on the way. Nice, man. Full. Oh, so you got like a full pre built machine for 2400? That's sick, dude. That's sick. Good night, Red Fox Jr. Peace, buddy. Love you. <laughs> Uh, happy dictator. How's the 580 rig after you gave it a power slide? I got it fixed, man. I took that 580 out yesterday. So I have this uh, 580, eight card 580 rig, courtesy of Crypto Caverns. I did a video on it. Um, and one of the GPUs was giving me instant GPU dead errors in Hive OS. And it was driving me nuts. So I just stopped mining with it. Just, you know, put the command in, dash D, and every other GPU but that one. Uh, and actually, chump change when we were doing the uh, our um, podcast. What is it called? Mining roundtable the other night. I asked him about it, and he said, "Just look at the PCIe uh, full slot." So I did, and actually, there's a pretty good amount of like gunk on it. Cleaned it with some alcohol, put it right back in, and no problems. Absolutely rock solid. So I still have to thank him for that. That was absolutely killer. Anonymous miner, what's up, buddy? Thanks for coming. Yeah, Nanus Miner, we were just talk, talking through all the uh, flux node changes coming up, which looks really sick. Count Miner, what's up, dude? Thanks for coming. Appreciate you being here. All right, let's see. Vincent asked, do you need bots for ASICs or FPGAs? Um, I haven't seen any for that. All just uh, GPUs, because remember that the vast majority of people using bots are reselling them for a profit, um, and I just don't think there's much of a market for FPGAs or ASICs to resell. But I could be wrong. All right, here's a good one. Let's see. Wow, Henway. My friend wants to sell me his mining rig. Just five 3060 TIs. Are they full hash rate? Kingwing mining case. 
five thirty sixty TIs. Can we, all right, yo, all right, let's switch over. Let's 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 see. Let's see what we think here. Let me know if they're full hash rate. Oh, they're LHR. Okay. All right. So that that changes things up a little bit. Let's check out what are those going for. EVGA 3060 TIs. Let's just see on the second hand market. Let's see what they're selling for. Man, that's oh, six days left. I'm about to buy that one. So I like going to sold items. Just check out the recent ones here. So, uh, yeah, dude, 850. Whew. All right. So let's just say. Let's just say 800, five of those $800 type it on the wrong keyboard. $4,000. I guess not bad, dude. I guess not bad. Man, he's giving you all the parts and stuff, right? Just like plug it in, ready to go. Dude, that's not bad. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Would you do that? Would you do 3,500 for five LHR 3060 TIs EVGA ones plus motherboard, mining, uh, frig frame and all that? Would you do that? Because I'm I'm actually surprised at that price that these are selling for 850. Man, look at that non LHR dude. Oh my god, $1,300. Oh, that's crazy. I can't believe how much the LHR ones are selling for. 900 900 900 900 Damn, I think uh yeah, dude, I think I would I think I would. I think I would buy that. Not telling you you should not telling you you should buy. It. Your situation is different than me, but if somebody presented that to me, I think I would buy that, dude. Yeah, good question, man. Thanks for asking that. It's a good discussion. I think I would buy that. For sure. Uh, Peyton, in your bot video, does it go over setting up an Amazon bot? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> but if you need help, join my Discord. I have a um, channel in there for bot discussion. We'll help you out. Yeah, dude. Um, I think I would buy that. Yeah. Yeah, dude, for sure. All right, cool. Good question, man. Guys, keep the questions coming. I'm going to end this poll because I'm tired of looking at it. So let's see. What do we what do we end up with? So 3060 LHR is the winner there. 3060 LHR. So for the same price, would you go RX 6600 XT or RTX 3060 LHR? Uh, 154 votes, which is awesome. And uh, almost 60% said RTX 3060 LHR and we're going to take a look at some of those numbers I think here in a second but I uh, see a lot of tags coming in I want to miss them I want to be I want to be mindful and we're going to do a check so if you got here late <laughs> it's uh 90 degrees down here because everything's mining and we're gonna I was going to see how long this ice cube would take to melt it's still hanging on there it's looking good looking good <laughs> Yeah, well, Henway, if you just if you don't want to buy that, just tell them to reach out to me. <laughs> All right, let's see. What am I missing? Uh, happy dictator, have you gotten your FPGA yet? I have not, my dude. I think probably another three weeks um, on it, based on their ship times when I first bought it, which is like two weeks ago. Ooh, curry crab. This is the, the popular question right now is taxes. Can you do a video on how you handle your mining income and U.S. taxes? Here's my plan. Get asked this question a ton uh, this time of year. It's really tricky to do because I'm not a tax professional or accountant. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to prepare. I'm going to do a video on this. I'm going to show you how I prepare. I'm not going to show you how to actually file um, and I'm I'm probably not going to talk through, I don't know, I'll just get, it's, I'm probably not going to talk through like how to run it as a business and all that. I'm just going to talk to you about how to prepare your data, the website I use, 
uh, how important it is to get all your GPU pricing in, how important it is to get all your electric, like how to do all that, how to get all the data there to then either present to a tax professional or do yourself on one of these websites or using like a TurboTax type of software. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link actually to these guys, GPU risers, because he has a series of videos talking about running mining as a business. Uh, and he is a professional, so I'm gonna link over to there, but I'll show you what I do just to get everything together. I'm always happy in live streams and stuff just to talk off the cuff about it, um, but I, I get a little weary of of saying like, do this, do that, because I just, I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna do, I think probably this week or next week, I'll do a video just how to like, what I've been doing for four years now to just bring all that data together and what's worked for me. But yeah, that's the plans. That's the plans. Hustle with Jesse. Thanks for the super chat, my dude. Am I missing a question? If so, I'm sorry. Just let me know again. Let's see, what else? Hey, tomorrow. What's up, dude? Love your videos, Red Fox. Happy New Year from Venezuela. Happy New Year from the USA, my dude. Thanks for being here. Yeah, guys, smash the like button like Brian Hollywood says. Really appreciate that, man. B. Dennis, what's up, my dude? Thanks for coming. I'm going to hydrate. Hey, can I ask you guys a question or something I haven't done yet, uh, but I'm thinking about it? Because everybody else does it. Do you prefer live streams to have music in the background? Uh, or no music. I've done no music, but let me know what you would prefer because I got to figure that out. Everybody else does that. I'm kind of late to the game. Um, scotch I'm drinking is Woodford Reserve right now. <laughs> Unboxing project. Is that the Death Star Ice Cube? This one isn't, but I do have that one. That's funny, dude. Shout out anybody watching Book of Boba Fett, by the way. Huge Star Wars fan. <laughs> uh ej take it's recommended run as a business red fox uh yeah dude everybody's situation is different but read up on how to do it uh versus a hobby versus a sole proprietor business i do sole proprietor that allows me to write off my electric and it allows me to write off uh to sorry depreciate the value of my gpus over time and use that all against my taxable income. That's what I do. That's what running it as a sole proprietor business allows you to do. You pay uh, income tax on your mining rewards. You pay self-employment tax on all that. But that is what I do. Not a tax professional, but doing it for four years. Haven't been audited yet, but I, I could be doing it all wrong. I don't know. I just did a ton of research. That's what I recommend you do. If you're going to do your taxes yourself, do a ton of research, but those are the two things to, to look at is running it as a hobby versus running it as a sole proprietor business. The other thing I haven't done is, because it's messy and I just don't do it, um, look into writing off like internet, space. You could look at some of that stuff, but the rules really are, you have to be, it has to be 100% used for business and i'm in my house my internet is used for this it's used for you know other things this space in my basement is primarily used for business but like what is this i don't know this is so small <laughs> it's not it's not even worth it so um uh, but those are the things to look into do some research there's a lot of info out there um but i really recommend checking out uh mike's videos on gpu risers uh youtube channel uh, he's got a couple on there, got a couple more coming, and they are they are really good. But I use Cointracking.info is the website I use. Like I said, it, you know, you don't have to remember that. I'll do a video on it coming up um, in a couple, uh, probably this week or next week. And if anybody was in um, the Misfit Mining Chump Change live stream last night, we we chatted about it there. Our husk, woo. 
CC with the hard questions, my dude. I love these questions. All right. What's the most memorable moment in crypto mining in 2021? Damn. I got to think. Couple things coming to mind. I don't know if I have a number one. Couple things coming to mind. Memorable, but not for for good, was uh, EIP fifteen fifty nine kicking in, and watching all that Ethereum get burned, which is just it was just wild. Like that was one of our events in twenty twenty one. Um, so that that is one, but prior to that watching the fees on ethereum be so crazy that my i was making like i made i don't at that time i didn't even have a lot of gpus i probably had half what i have now and just i made an, an ethereum in one day i made one ethereum in one day just because of how high the fees were prior to eip 1559 i remember I, I remember being at work and looking at my watch because I got the Coinbase um, alert that I had income. I had a transfer come in. I was just like, oh, my God, I just mined in one Ethereum in like a day because of how crazy the gas fees were. So I, I really remember that moment being being wild. Um, and then a really fun one was the Firo fork going from MT, their algorithm MTP over to Firo Pal, like being up late, getting everything ready. I slept on my living room floor because my son was in the main bed. I had my alarm set on my phone so I could get up. I remember putting out last minute videos. I was really blessed uh, that the um, Firo team reached out to me afterwards to thank me and sent me a couple t-shirts. Um, that was just a really cool personal moment. Uh, like, cause I've loved being a part of those forks and stuff in the past, just as a minor and then getting able to be a part of that as only a minor, but a content creator. Those are some for sure highlights for me, at least on the mining side. I can talk all day about the content creations, content creation side, but I think that's that's some of them for sure. I'm sure there's others I forgot, but <laughs> Mr. Miles says, memorable for me seeing all of China's hash power go offline within a week. Yeah, dude. Oh, that was crazy. That's crazy, dude. Seb, yeah, Seb, what's up, dude? My man. Thanks for coming, dude. Uh, Vincent, yeah, these are Husky shells, man. Inspired by Chump Change XD. Let's see what else. If you had everything on ETH right now, even the one sitting around, how much giga hash would you be at? Uh, I'm going to say five to six is where I would be at. If everything that was not mining ETH was mining ETH and everything that's sitting around was mining ETH, five to six in my, in my basement in my house. Had a nice, cool $1,700 electric bill last month, so that was cool. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where I would be at, man. Just I know where I'm at now. That's where I would be. Yeah, there it is. I didn't even see your question, unboxing project. Yeah. Yep, that's your answer, man. 1700 That ASIC is pulling so much power, man. Oh, my God. I think it's pulling like 2,800 watts right now, so... <laughs> Seb, get out of here, dude. Highlight 2021 was Red Fox Crypto being one of my vids. You're the man. <laughs> uh, DJ Mines should hit four this week, dude. You're ramping up. All right. What else did I want to talk about? I forgot. I forgot. Let's see. Oh, you want to see how solo mining fear? I haven't stopped solo mining Firo. If you guys want to check that out, use my new stream deck here, courtesy of Mrs. Red Fox. All right, check it out. Firo, solo mining. 
Uh, let's take a look. So it was a little rough. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, um, your luck score is, did you have to put a lot of work in more than normal if you would have just mined to a pool to get that block? And the higher the luck score, the, the, the worse. If it was 100% even, you would be doing exactly what you would be doing if you mined to a pool. Um, and if it is green here, really lucky. And if it's this gray, really unlucky. And so I have, what do I even have on this right now? 3060s. Yeah, I have a 63060s on it and a 3070 Ti on it. And I want to move more on here, but I got to figure out cooling them first. Um, okay, where was I? Nope. Yeah, so you can see really tough luck. I was getting, I was pretty depressed at this point. <laughs> and then just crushed it, coming back with a vengeance. Seeing, this is what's crazy to me, this one. I hit two blocks... I hit block 434.089, and then two blocks later, I hit the next block at 0% luck, which is insane. Insane. So my personal luck is still a little high overall at 109% for the last 11 blocks. Um, but what I was looking at after I had this really good streak is the um, Firo network hash rate. Look how much it's come down. This is a week. And I actually hit those blocks right, I think right in here. Once this dipped, I hit those blocks and it's came back up and then dipped again, which I'm, I'm learning you can kind of time the network. I haven't done this, but you can kind of time the net hash when it drops like that. You're going to get luckier because the difficulty, because uh, there's just less people mining. There's less people mining. So you're going to get luckier uh, to hit a block. So. That's been super good to see that. Um, and I'm I'm halfway. This is not my total uh, Firo. But I'll tell you, I'm halfway to a master node at this point. So super stoked, man. Uh, man, guys, Happy Dictator coming out with the hard question again. What was the biggest challenge you overcame in 2021? Dude, I don't know, man. Biggest challenge I overcame. I have to think about it, dude. I have to think about it. I really have to think about it. That's a good question, man. I'm going I'm to think about it. <laughs> oh, not James. You love that Red Fox and the Unsigned so much, dude. So do I. It's so cool. Mrs. Red Fox, Christmas present. Biggest challenge, dude. <laughs> Golden Wolf, there's no snow left over my mind then. Yeah, dude, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Philly Cheese, how does your electric company not ask questions? They're getting paid. What do they care? What do they care? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. I'm just catching up on a couple more... Uh, Questions in the chat, and then we'll talk about a few other things. Uh, one, okay, unboxing project. One RX 6600 versus 3580, 8 gigabytes for the same price? 100% would do the 580s right now. 100%. All right, biggest challenge I overcame because Brian Hollywood just let me give me a tip here is uh, the grow tent, man. Um, going to because I, I upgraded my grow tent and shout out Red Llama Crypto, he's getting my old one. We decided I decided today so it's just sitting around and I upgraded my grow tent, but I still had the same eight inch inline fan and the temperature. I was so unhappy with it. Um, and adding the second eight inch fan and exhausting all of that out of my basement. Uh, what a crazy difference that made. And then also like tight, I guess the grow tent as a whole, I have videos on this, uh, tidying up that whole grow tent, getting the cable management, right. Getting the GPUs in, in the right places. Cause you know, that cool air rises 
that took a ton of work. That was like days and days and days of trying this, trying that, trying this, trying that. Um, it's still, I mean, it's pretty good right now, honestly. I'm pretty happy with it. I've outgrown it. And I think the next challenge I have is how do these server case style rigs work in there? Uh, and if anybody has tried that, uh, hit me up on Discord, DM me. I would love, or just chat in the, in the main channel. I would love to hear your experiences because I, I will have about four server cases uh, probably by the end of this month. And I love them. And I'm curious how they'll work in there. Yeah, mining addiction, biggest challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Mr. Miles says the uh, get my money back from EVGA because UPS lost my GPU. That was that was a good one. That was a good that was a good challenge. God, that was so annoying. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. All right, so let's go back to that question. By the way, um, I like checking in on Newegg to see what's available. So right now, if you wanted, you could go buy a 6600 XT, and it's this Azrock Challenger Pro, three fan. And it's $620 plus $10 shipping if you wanted. Little, little high for me, though I have bought some around that price, the XFX models, uh, which are this one here. And then a couple of the, I think they're, they're like one up. I don't remember what they're called. XFX has the worst names for their GPUs. But you could buy this. You could if you wanted to. Just saying over on Best Buy as well. If you wanted to, you could buy this. This is crazy. This is a crazy price. This is a crazy price in my opinion, but you could buy this 6600 XT for $660. And I think there's another one. Yeah, this other one, $650. A little high, a little high in price. That same card was $450 when they launched. But uh, yep, there it is. Just... They're available if you wanted to. Not saying you should. Oh, man. But I have seen some pip popping up on Newegg, like I said, sub 600, 550, 5, 530, which I feel much better about. And let's see. Oh, and this is a, actually, this is a good deal, I think. I want to shout this out to you guys, too. Just talking about what's available right now. I might buy these. 1000 watt titanium EVGA power supply, $209. And you can use, there's a EVGA coupon code for an additional 10% off that. So it drops it to like 190 for a titanium, which is the best efficiency you can get. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good deal. $190 for this. And the other thing I like about it, see if I pull it up here, see if it loads, is that it has six VGA slots on it. So these are really cool. I like using these for like six card, even like six card 6600s or 6600 XTs because you can split one of the VGAs to go to the riser and power the single eight pin on the card and just have a really nice, tidy, super uh, uh, efficient rig so I think this is a pretty good deal. I, I, the problem is I bought these. I bought two of these because these are my go-to. These are uh, essentially the same but rated gold, which is two less. In terms of efficiency, would go gold, platinum, titanium. But these are available for 170 I just have a back stock of these. But I'm still considering, man, titanium. I've never had anything better than gold in an ATX power supply. So... I thought I'd shout that out to you guys too, just in case you're looking for any ATX power supplies. Server power supplies are obviously great, but this is a titanium, dude. So I think these are these are cool, man. Let's see what else. Jay Bain coming in here. Coming in here. New egg eBay, dude. Let's check that out. That's where I got my 3060 Ti full hash rates originally. Should we check that out? New like eBay store. Let's see what they got, man. Oh, 
6600. Let's filter by GPU, maybe. I would do that. Let's see. Computer hardware. Can I just search 6600? I see the regular. I see the reg. Not a uh, not XT though. 559. Ugh. Oh, dude, e New Egg eBay, dude, has platinum too. All right, New Egg eBay coming through here. Let's see. One more search. Dude. Has a platinum for 170. All right. All right, so you got platinum for 170. Or titanium would be like 190, I think is what it is after 10% off. Good stuff, guys. ATX power supplies. I always have a back stock of them. Always, always, always. Philly cheese. At current prices, would you buy 6600 or 6600 XTs? Either. Either, either. All right, so we got to keep checking new new egg eBay, see what they got popping up there. Thanks for the pro tip, man. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing with everybody else. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the poll I had earlier was 6600. Would you, at the same price, would you buy a 6600 XT or a 3060, like the LHR, the version two, whatever you want to call it. And so I pulled up some stuff on what to mine just to get an idea of kind of where that would be, at least on Ethereum in terms of uh, break even. So uh, let's do, I just left all default values. We can definitely get a little bit lower power, but the mega hash looks about right. So on Ethereum, uh, at 6,600 XT, it's by itself is making a buck 67 profit with just the default 10 cent electric rate right now, which means that break. Uh, okay. And we're going to do that at, I don't know. Let's see. Those are like, that's like 600. What are the 3060 TIs going for? Or the 3060s? What are those going for right now? Uh, yeah, good luck getting that one. 550. Good luck. Oh, those are 3060 TIs. TI, TI. All right, let's do just 3060s. 550. 535. So, like, pretty much on par with what you're going to get a 6600 XT for. So, what should we say? Should we say 550? Don't buy this. Don't buy this one. Look at that. $620 for that thing. Don't buy that. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's see. Where are we at? So we're saying $550 for, for either. So price pretty much around the same. And we're just doing Ethereum. So you got about a year break even. 340 days mining ETH on a 6600 XT. And let's do the 3060, which is mining buck 72 in ethereum and we're gonna say that same price 550. so i don't know was that 20 days less not even 20 days less break even between the two on ethereum but what you want to consider is once ethereum goes away what is going to be the better card and if I remember, the 6600 XT will do like 17 mega hash on Raven and Firo. And the 3060, the most efficient I got, it was doing about 20 mega hash on Raven and Firo. And I don't know exactly where they size up in efficiency, but I'm just going to take an educated guess and say that the NVIDIA cards are traditionally better efficiency wise on other algorithms. So the 3060 will probably be a little more efficient and give you a little more hash rate after Ethereum is done being mined. So they're, they're really close, obviously based on availability. I don't think you could, if you 
want to get GPUs or in between those two, I would probably just rec- like say just get either one. But if you were presented with both at the same price, somebody was like, here, which one do you want? I might go the 3060. I might go the 3060, which is exactly what the majority of all you said in the poll. Just don't buy that single fan one. <laughs> I feel like those single fan GPUs just existing is disrespectful. Like, dude, I can't. Like, does somebody have that in their gaming rig? They have this, like, sick, you know, huge ATX build with this huge case and RGB everywhere. But the only card they can get is that single fan PNY. And it's just. Oh God, that's that that hurts me. That's funny, man. Uh, <laughs> uh Happy Dictator, what uh power supply would you recommend for GPUs that take eight and six pin of power? You can use a splitter off the ATX, but if you're if you have a lot of GPUs um in a rig that take you know, 8-pin or 6-pin or dual 8-pin. I like going uh, server power supply for those. Tech by Mark, what's up, buddy? I like going server power supply for those personally. All right, let's see what else. Let's check on Flux. We've got to check on Flux. It's been on an absolute tear here. Still sitting up there. Still up 20% today, man. Cannot believe that. Check on prices. I saw like Ethereum uh, start going up, and then I quickly got the alerts for Flux going up. Super stoked to see that. Let's see, any other questions you guys got, just throw them at me here in the chat. We'll go for a little bit longer. Mr. Miles says on the 3060 versus 6600 XT, uh, the 3060 NVIDIA car will probably have a better resale value in the future. And I would agree with that. NVIDIA does seem to hold the resale value better as far as gamers are concerned. Frosty, what's up, dude? Am I still mining Flux? No. I, dude, I, I haven't mined Flux. Dude, I haven't. I don't know if I mined Flux in the last year. Honestly, it was all before that. Maybe, maybe in the beginning a little bit, but um, I'm happy with uh, what I got. Plus, it doesn't, it, from everything I've seen and tested, it doesn't do great on the current gen GPUs. And I sold or shipped away uh, and gave away my 1070 Ti's, and I sold my 20 series as well. Do you think the ETH merge will happen on schedule or another delay? I don't, I don't know, man. That's a good question. I saw I heard somebody was just talking about how things seemed a little more up in the air, but then I also heard somebody talking about they're, they're on track based on some of the stuff. Um, I don't really track the development. I don't go in like the GitHubs and the, I'm in the ETH dev channel, but I don't really catch up on that. It's just, I don't have the time. Uh, Gallic Avenger, what PDUs do, do you recommend? You know what, man? PDUs, I went searching for ones um, like a couple months ago. They're hard, dude. I The um, trip light ones, the really tall ones are sweet. But you want to not, because you're going to max out the capacity on them much sooner than all the actual power plugs it has on it. So you know what? The ones that I really like... Probably wish I, I got instead at some point. Mine shop has them. They sent me one. And then Nerd Gears. So let's see. Power, power, power. Uh, okay. Yeah, they sent me this one, which is um, the a PDU. And. <laughs> I guess the, the reason I haven't used it yet is because you have to add your own cable and plug on the end. Um, so I have to learn how to do that and get the right stuff. But you can see like it just has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, that's probably still more than I'm using on the PDUs that I have. and I've maxed them out and they have still like 
10 slots open. So it's just kind of silly. Unless you're running a lot of low power rigs, then maybe it makes more sense. So something like this, um, or I'm not affiliated with, affiliated with them in any way, but Nerd Gears uh, PDU is you're like listen, you're gonna pay more for it right now. I guess they're sold out again. But Nerd Gears has these PDUs. I don't know the difference between those two. Um, same kind of deal, right? Same kind of deal. Really simple. If you have higher power cars, like just look at how many you could put on here. Do it at the 80% rule. It's price is crazy, right? It's crazy. But that's just the times we're in. So in retrospect, I wish I would have just got some of these versus the big um, ones that I have. I paid the same price, but I'm just not using the capacity on them and they're huge. So I would go something like that or something like this from Mine Shop as far as PDUs go. But yeah, I, I dove down there because I needed another one. Um, luckily, I was talking with Guntis over at Mine Shop and letting them know. And uh, with this case, he also sent me over one of those. But that's the style I would go with personally for my situation because everything else is so crazy. Crypto Dave, what's up, my dude? Yeah, Red Llama Crypto saying the same thing. Close to maxing out its trip light PDU and hasn't used even as close to the amount of plugs that it has on it. Mr. Miles, the power meter you built, has it held up well? Absolutely. Actually, I have so many right now. It's a good question. I'm going to do a video on just all the different ones that I have. So this is the first one I built. I just followed Space Goat's tutorial and built my own. Uh, just with parts I could get from Home Depot and Lowe's and then the meter from Amazon. And this thing has been going strong. So that's one. That just runs off your regular house outlet. And then I built um, this one from the meter box. And this one allows me to plug in a 30, L630. So the PDU can go right in here and I can see how much wattage an entire PDU is taken. So that's cool. I have the Elmore Labs one, which lets me measure inline over PCIe. That's in my test bench, which is on the floor. And then Matt, shout out Matt Electron Engineering. He's over on YouTube. Um, he just sent me and a few of us this. And this is really cool. Same kind of meter, right? But what you get to do is I get to go in from a rig and then out to a PDU. And I can measure... Uh, the wattage going over a rig this way. So I think, oh, and then of course you got your standard. I actually haven't used this yet. I just bought it in case I needed to kill a lot. You got your standard one of those. So um, a lot of different ways to measure power. I'm pretty much obsessed with it at this point. And those are some of the ways I do it, but everything's held up really good. I've been using it on and off as I need. And I'll probably build uh, a couple more because the meter box sent me little sneak preview. Well, I can't find it. The meter box sent me uh, another meter uh, in my in my color for the red that I use. So he's going to be selling those, which is cool. Black Bear Crypto, what's up, buddy? Yeah, you like that? That's Mrs. Red Fox coming through right there with that light. <laughs> Dude, this cube, I don't know. It's It's like, it's pretty tiny now. It's pretty tiny. The problem is I turned this off because it was so loud. So the temperature has gone down a little bit. This is this is like 200, this is like 550 watts, I think. This is putting off right in front of me. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I have heard of Tan. I just heard of it the other day, but I haven't looked into it at all. Um, I'll I I might, I don't know. If the hype train's gearing up, I'm going to do something else. That's what I do. Payne, can you flip the camera and show us the room? Can't right now. It's all hardwired in. But you can check out some of my uh, previous videos. Check out my 
video on making $300 a day mining crypto. That'll show you a tour of everything. And I'll probably do another one this month. Thanks, everybody, for coming to hang. Happy to hang for a few more minutes. Any questions you got, throw them in the chat. Um, and I'll talk to you about some things you can look forward to coming up this week and next week on the channel. I'm actually feeling ahead of the game in far, as far as content creation goes. And uh, a couple of those things, GPU Riser sent me a bunch of stuff over because they are the, the absolute best. Um, and one of them I'm looking forward to doing. Look at these. These are really cool. These are this is a box of splitters. Look at this. Dude, Mike at GPU Risers is the greatest of all time. Uh, and they got their logo on the splitter. If I can get that in there. Nope, not going to focus. But they got their logo on the splitter. So I'm stoked on this because I have uh, probably two more builds to do. And the other thing I'm really looking forward to trying is they have a couple other content creators have gotten these. Uh, they have their own fans now. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying these out. I just ripped. Sorry, dude. I just ripped that so bad. Oh, my God. And these are just straight up white. CFM on them, 1500. So, you know, kind of standard deal. Um, but, like, they're going to look so sick. I'm so pumped on these. I got jealous when I saw other people get them. And uh, Mike... Michael over at GP Risers came through. He's the man. Check out their channel, uh, especially for that. I was talking about tax stuff earlier. He talks about that stuff, and he knows what he's talking about for sure. So um, let's see what else you guys are chatting about. Yeah. Good call, Anonymous Miner. Uh, you can always join my Discord, guys, if you want to chat further. What's in the mine box? Uh, 86600 XTs in here. Actually, the top's not even... Is the top even screwed in? No. If you guys want to check it out. Video's coming up. All right, so one of the videos coming up, probably this week, unless I save it for next week, is this. Building this. So if you guys want to see what the inside looks like right now, it's not on. Um, but I got eight 6600s in there, the regular 6600s, just because I had them. And I have this. And this case is so sick. So far, my favorite mining case, server case, but I have an Octaminer. I still haven't gotten out of the box yet. So I'll compare those two. But yeah, this is sick. It's got um, six power colors. Three Hellhounds, three Fighters, an XFX, and a Sapphire Pulse in it. So stay tuned for a video on that this week. And do you prefer, question is, do you prefer server chassis or frames for minor rigs? At this point, 100% server. 100%. Just, all right, so just the fact, taking this off again, and I got to size them up price-wise, but just the fact that in here, Motherboards in here, like CPU, RAM, ready to go, SSD, ready to go. You can even get this pre-installed with HiveOS if you want that extra done for you. Power supply ready. All the wires are ready. These wires are even the right length to go to the right GPU, so you don't have all this extra wires and stuff. Fans in the front ready to go. Super powerful high CFM fans ready to go in the front. You just, like, for ease, like, all I did was put the GPUs in, install HiveOS, and turn it on. And like, that's it. Versus building a frame, which is, can be a nightmare, depending on the frame you got. And um, figuring out power and like multiple power supplies and cable management and, and all this stuff. I definitely prefer this, the thing, and of cooling, the GPUs stay way cooler in here. The only thing that I had to figure out is if, are these going to work in my grow tent? That's the unknown. And I, haven't seen anybody try it. Uh, and if you personally have, please hit me up on Discord or DM me because I'd love to chat with you about anything that worked for you or didn't work for you. So I got that stuff from GPU Riser. Sent me over some white um, frames as well, 12 GPU mining frames, which I'm, I'm stoked to get up and going. So that should look super sick with the white fans. I mean, I'm just it's just silly at this point, right? That's like when you build a rig and you're like, I want every card to match and be the same color. It is, it is what it is. 
DM, single fan GeForce 3090. Does that even exist? Does a single fan 30? I've never seen a single fan 3090, dude. <laughs> uh, ESU in here is, it doesn't have a brand on it, um, but it's 1,850 watts. Mrs. Red Fox coming through with the Discord link. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is a 1,850 watt. They sell this one with another um, power supply. You also can just take this power supply out, and it looks like it just has regular mounts for if you wanted to put a different ATX power supply in. I'm not using close to the capacity of this power supply, so probably other cards will go in here in the future, but for now, that's uh, that's what I got going on. MC, sad day, sold 99.8% of my GPUs. Dude, why? Are you serious? Dude, are you serious, man? Why? Moment of silence for MC. Moment of silence, dude. We got to wait for the verdict on that one. All right, any last minute questions, let me know. Um, so we got this coming up on the channel this week. I got uh, me and Hobbyist Miner did a video just talking around GPUs and budgets and what might be the better GPUs to buy based on your budget, what we would look for. Um, got so oh, I got some like tutorial videos. I finally did an awesome Miner video. A lot of people have been requesting that. That'll be coming up this week or next week. And I've talked about, I'm planning on doing a power, uh, how to measure power over mining rigs video. So a lot of stuff. And if there's anything that you guys would like to see me cover based on what you see around, based on any previous videos, please let me know. I have a channel in my discord for, uh, video ideas. You can drop them in there. I've definitely pulled from some of those over time, but that's, I think everything I got coming up on the channel and, uh, MC, what are you moving, dude? Dude, why don't you sell them to me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. I'm sure you'll be back and going. And if you need anything, please let me know. Please let me know. Hit me up if you need anything, my dude. All right. I think that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up. Appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, really loved hanging out with all you guys. It was a super fun stream for me. Getting back on the, the stream game. Trying to do this consistently throughout the week on Sundays and maybe even some weekday ones. I really like doing those just on the fly. But um, that's it, guys. Have a great week ahead. Have a great 2022. Thanks for coming to hang with me. I'll see you in the next live stream. Hopefully, you can check out some of my videos coming up on the channel this week. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next live stream and the next video. Peace, guys. Thanks for coming. Love you all. Seriously, big time. Thanks, guys. Proof of work.